Hi guys, welcome. I'm Professor Rob Madaska, and this is College Math 1, Math 1131 E2D for summer uh, 2020. This is just a quick video tour of uh, the course, what we're going to see, what you guys can expect, and um, just where to find everything. This is the announcement section. Uh, let me start with saying uh, right above it says student preview mode is on. That basically means I'm seeing what the course would look like exactly as you see it minus the what I put in and all that stuff. So, so far a couple announcements, the welcome message, and then um, the tutoring online. So if you click on that, it'll open up a PDF, and that PDF basically will populate, and it's from the uh, Academic Resource Center, and they will tell you basically how to get the tutoring if you so need it. So instructions are there, and it's posted up on the announcements. Going back to our um, course shell, Welcome blog. If you click on the welcome blog, that's where you will post your welcome message. Uh, hello to the class. Hello to me. Picture yourself so we can get to know you and vice versa. So that is located in the welcome blog. Course documents. Course documents will have syllabus, which is uh, in a PDF form. Uh, the discussion questions, which we'll work on each week. Uh, my math lab course instructions. Uh, a lot of you guys are already registered and uh, working on the my math lab course so the instructions are there all in PDF and then the syllabus acknowledgement simply just letting me know that you read the syllabus you know the due dates when everything is the exams etc etc the grading policy so um, click on that and then just uh, say yes I have read it and then uh, that'll be points posted up on your uh, into your grade book and those are all under course documents discussions discussion basically has the questions for each week where they are Discussion board 1 down to discussion board 12, if you, as you can see, people have posted already. Um, but again, this is where you would post each week. You would click on the discussion board. You would click on create a thread, and then you would type up your answer and then just submit it. Also, remember, reply to other people because it, it makes it more of an interactive course. Um, being distance learning gets a bit of a challenge sometimes, so I try to make it as face-to-face-ish uh, -face as I can, so be familiar with that. Exams. <clears throat> This is where you'll have the four exams. They will be here. Notice it's empty because our exams are not uh, live yet. When they are scheduled in the syllabus to be live, that's when they will show up. All that's in the top section. The middle section contains all my math lab stuff. So it'll be my math lab registration. <clears throat> Excuse me. Swallowing something. Let me get some coffee real quick. All right, information there, my math lab, Good grammar and spelling are registration shows up there. You will do the same thing for my math lab. Um, it takes you a walkthrough tutorial video, my math lab info, my math lab for students, and my math lab tech support. I've already had somebody have an issue. Um, I cannot fix anything in Pearson. I work for Fairly. I don't work for Pearson. We're just using their product. So if you run into an issue where you can't log in or there's an issue with a question as somebody just sent me, Click on um, the My Math Lab tech support, put it up there. Um, you'll reach out to Pearson, and basically, just uh, they will be able to solve your problem technically for anything in the My Math Lab section as it goes. All right. Um, and let's see, we will click on My Math Lab. I'll click on that just to walk you through where everything is. All right. You will sign in after you register. And again, the registration information is there. I put that up. This will pop up if uh, you have Windows 8, like myself, from an FDU laptop. <clears throat> you'll get to the Pearson login page. All right. You will sign in with your password. And again, if you, you've never set it up before, you'll just create one. <clears throat> Must be a pollen day. All right, here's our class. I have a bunch of classes. You should only have the one when you log in. So I click on our class, and it'll basically take you through, uh, and it'll open up to where our math lab stuff is. All right, our homework is there. You, again, will see a little bit different as far as when you created it. And again, it's my math lab FDU. Here's our homework that's live. Uh, chapter one, so you will click on that and get started. Again, there's many tutorials, and I've posted them all up over here in the My Math Lab section, so you can go through, and the tutorials will walk you through exactly where everything is, how it works, etc., etc. So, this video is more so for uh, our Blackboard shell. 
Underneath, I've also put in uh, Khan Academy, Smart Thinking, and Faculty Information. I'll start from the bottom and work up. Faculty Info, that will be my info. That'll be contact stuff. It'll be a picture of me, as you're seeing me now. Here's my picture. All right. One of my uh, not-too-good shots, but uh, my contact information is there. There's my phone. There's my email. Email me. That's easily the best way to get me. So contact for me is there. Smart Thinking. Smart Thinking is a link to online tutoring. I've already posted it in the announcements. This is basically the Academic Resource Center Facebook page where it has information. Let's hit not now for this so I can show you. Here's the information up here uh, for free online tutoring through FDU. So utilize that if you need it. Finally, in this section, Khan Academy. I've posted up a Khan Academy uh, bunch of links. All that walk us through or walk you guys through different things that we will be covering. These are all the topics we will be covering. If you haven't used Khan Academy before, it's awesome. Uh, we'll click on inductive versus deductive reasoning. This is one of the topics that we go through, uh, actually in Chapter 1, which we started. This section has um, a video that you can click on and play to go through inductive versus deductive. Then it talks about deductive, using reasoning, and it also gives you some practice towards the end. So it comes with a transcript, has all information. All you have to do is click on it, <clears throat> and it will play and go through and give you a video lecture. So that's in the Khan Academy links. Also, no in the My Math Lab. Once we go back, I'll click on the My Math Lab. No in the My Math Lab over here. If you go to Chapter Contents, and again, no, which I should walk you through this, but I'll walk you through it real quick. And you go to, let's say, Chapter 1. Each of these chapters has <clears throat> uh, homework, which we've done, a study plan. Study plan is the extra work that uh, if you want to practice to get ready for the exams, it doesn't count towards your grade. It's just extra to practice. It's there if you so choose. Again, you don't have to do it. But uh, down here they have uh, the different tests. I'll click on section 1.1 to give you an idea. It has video presentation. Each of these sections has a vid video presentation. If you click on it, new window would populate up. And it would basically walk you through, and this one's 8 minutes, 32 seconds. It would walk you through how to solve and work on the chapter problems that we are working on. So each section has a video. Again, I would recommend going through the videos and the e-text before attempting the problems. I will close this out. I will go back to our shell. But that is a quick overview of our shell, tools, and email. Basically down here would take us to um, tools you're not going to use so much other than the gradebook which you'll see when we have grades up there, particularly for the exams. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, email would be if you needed to email me directly from inside the course. So this is an overview of our shell of our course. Again, I've tried to put in as much information as possible. I know it's math. I know everybody keeps this to last to do for their, uh, their class to finish up their degree. But I've tried to put in as many um, helpful links and things in there as possible. So once again, this is Math 1131 E2D, College Math 1. I am Professor Medaska, and again, thanks for registering, and if you need anything, reach out to me, and uh, just make sure everybody stays safe. Till next time, ta-ta.